Greetings, greetings, greetings across the earth. Great uprising, great uprising. Free people. Have here the British expansion and oppression. I come across this article. So I chose to share it. I uh, touched on these issues a long time ago. See a brief history of the post office in Jamaica. October 9th, 2015. And so this is a special reprint of Pieces of the Past by Rebecca Tortello. The item can choose to get this book. I think it up on Amazon for about $35. And I really try to acquire the book. I'm going to like have the information from the different, different sources, you know. And this is how we can, you know, qualify a lot of the information presented out here. Now, I am not familiar with this author. Rebecca Tortello, but when you do a basic research, it was just a, you know, a foreign lady, really. And yeah, you can get her basic profile. However, before we go, before we even start, we can touch upon the basic issue of Foreigners, foreigners always impose their will upon the original people or upon, you know, a specific class or group of people. It's always the foreigners, my people. Because when you say the British, you have to know the British represent a foreign construct or the British have come out of a foreign location. Remember, you know, you'd have the Anglo Saxon round there. And in a six in a ten sixty six, some people call the Normans invaded round there. Foreign people that not originate round there. These very Normans are the Northsmen. Come out of the northern region. Over the Dutch people them side. All of them to me is one and the same. But that are just my personal point of view, which I am entitled. So we we'll find see, a lot of people, especially and specifically on the mainland, what them call America, the mainland, which is in the American hemisphere. These foreigners over there, them get so comfortable where them totally ignore the fact that they are invaders, they are usurpers. They are the problem in our hemisphere. And when some of these people will act as if, oh, we are being oppressed by this system. It is your system. You brought this system here. Your migration patterns are evidence in history. You are the land pirates. You are the people who invade this location and slaughter our ancestors and rewrite your history and your story to benefit you, foreigner, and your foreign Posterity. Hence, we now have too much people ever bring 
our story. But the beauty about the Most High Creator of nature is that whenever them are write them story, usually the truth will reveal itself subtly. It's just for the ones them who have the eyes to see it and the intuitive spirit to detect it. So with the British expansion under pressure, the 17th century, the beginning, so this is from this pieces of the past. It said in 1663, during the reign of Charles II, it said Jamaican residents, listen, Jamaican residents were anxious over the slow rate of mail delivery. So I'll ask this question in a 16, remember, you know, the British running in Jamaica in a 1655. You know what I mean? 1655. So that's a few years later than, you know, of Jamaican residents. So who are these people who want to send mail back to England? Couldn't be the natives, could never be the ab Aborigines, could never be the Am Ameri Indians, it could never be the West Indians. You understand? This is why I'm here telling us that uh, when I now claim to be Jamaican, it put on in an area where foreign people um, have them foreign claim. Uh, them name the place Jamaica. So it's safe to say the Jamaican resident in a 1663 wasn't us. You know what I mean? 1663. Remember, these people are foreigners and they come and invade the, the, the Spanish side to these very same kind of people. The Spanish came with the, their escaped slave called Maroons. They came in 1494. The first went to Haiti in 1492. So when people talking about transatlantic slavery, then even right now, this area is called the Atlantic area. You get me? And on the next side, it's called the Pacific. So what them normally do or what they, 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 they did was remove your people from your location here in the American hemisphere. This is what the foreigners do. Why you think Argentina don't have people looking like me anymore? Look at Berbice, now called Guyana. Berbice is one of the first, it has said, island state in this hemisphere before Haiti that revolt against these foreigners. This was before Haiti, but these kind of information are suppressed. Now, when you look at Guyana, it's all Persians over there, the East Indians, guising themselves as indigenous because of the movie theatre. Remember, we said 
all of these nations conspire against a specific group of people and against this group of people's God. This is why I'm on highlight the Bible because I'm on discover so the very people where I promote the Bible not really follow what is inside of the Bible. The very people that promote the Bible, them not maintain the standards, the moral standards, and the, 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 the ethical principles. They not follow none of that. They do their own thing. And then pick and choose and tell you, say, boy, this is what the Bible says, but them now tell you what God said. We can tell you what everything in the Bible, what the Bible has said, but what God said, them ignore. That what God said, not necessarily apply to these people. But these people are the kind of people who defect from the true source, from the most I create, and they defect from that and create them own thing. This is why I may appoint to this British expansion, uh, from this British system, derive even our so-called legal standard guise as law. Again, I direct you people to the Jamaica Constitution Order in Council 1962 that was created not here on the island, not with our people. It was created over there in Buckingham Palace or somewhere in those foreign land with these foreign Norman Germanic type of people. But my people chose to ignore it. But this is the truth. And the facts are there as evidence. Just look at the document, it will tell it clearly. This is a statutory instrument. That means uh, the foreign people um, are create their agency and are create their rules and regulation for their agency, my people. And I have nothing to do with I when we say, boy, I would choose to renounce it from these people, to choose to separate from these people. They have that right. Every man have that right. But when these psychotic entities view you or view us not as man, but as commodity, as property, as business. This is why all nations flock to this area because we are their business. We become their business. They cannot exist without us. So they come to our location and institute their foreign education. This is why our people are in this state of condition. Don't take my word for it, people. Just contemplate these things. Because if in 1963, during the reign of Charles II, Jamaican residents, not a citizen of there right now, not our uh, citizenship never exists. So the Jamaican resident and according to them legal construct, what is a resident? They not talk about the original people because they are the oppressors. They only have got construct legal documents to benefit themselves and enslave others. many levels to this thing you know, but as we go along we just break down what we can and share the information according to us from our point of view not from the foreign man's perspective we are trying to tell ourselves we're subject to all kind of legal standards out there guys as law what god said in our bible 
I want to do not talk about what God said in my Bible. I want to talk about what the Bible said, but what God said. God now gave some Ten Commandments, so you know, if you trespass, you know, if you steal, and everything what the Bible purports as the Word of God, which is law. These foreign defectors totally go against it. This is why them say when you want to hide the truth from a people like us, put it in our book, uh, we don't really look. We allow other people to uh, tell you. And then this uh, very people we are tell we are said, this is how you're supposed to think. And don't question our authority. All of these things are the demonic side of things. Come and tell us a Lucifer. Are the highest. Get us a being created by the most. Uh, don't take my word for it. When they hear the Bible, I tell you, this is why them hate the Bible. Right? I tell you, say, yo, this man where was the the dew of the morning, the bright and morning star, and everything that is lovely and beautiful and holy, yet imperfection develop within him. So if him are the smartest, know everything about everything else. Mm -hmm. It's no wonder you have a specific group of people out there that is so fascinated with things where most other people don't even have interest in. You have a group of people out there where them so, you know, say hell bent on creating their own world, which will always be adversarial to the most high creation. These people are the people we call the psychotic people call. Them look on other people as property. They move across the earth like locusts and consume, pollute, corrupt everything in other part. This is why the earth is out of course, my people. And I may say it, you know, look in my Bible you now. It's just that you have some other people who want to use the Bible as that weapon against us as if we can reverse that very same weapon against them but the bible tell you who are the adversary you know the bible tell you who are god's people you know and the bible give instruction to god's people so it's just up to god's people for you know find the manuscript yeah man and look back to them creator yeah, man. But right now, as it is, as it is, what I'm talking about last days, as it is, yeah, man, are the demonic forces of put themselves as God out there. This is the truth. This is why the earth is out of course. You understand? It's clear right here with this narrative. In 1663, some Jamaican residents, they just, you know, which is the planters, them, these colonizers, the mafia correspond with them own kind back there and I try to solicit to tell them how great and wonderful it is. Yeah, man. So Jamaica lieutenant governor, never have a governor general at the time. Remember, Jamaica's Lieutenant Governor Thomas Lynch was ordered to plans, or ordered to make plans for a post office under the management of a Postmaster General of London. So the, the Postmaster General of London are the authority. Now, what I'm saying, 1671, Gabriel Martin was appointed the first Postmaster General of Jamaica, making Jamaica, the first English colony to have a post office. You hear that? This is in 1671. This is before the mainland people, the very same 
foreign people them a claim to break away from England. It have nothing to do with the original people, nothing to do with the native people. Absolutely nothing. We did not participate in nothing, none of these things. When the constitutional order was given, what's an order? Is that like a command? So who is giving this constitutional order? Is it God Almighty? Is it the Most High Creator? Or is it some foreign British? We can always say demonic from. Them I give out order, man. That's why I can't tell us about there is no law here. Our people are far removed from law. Or the only law we apply to us as a people are the word of God. God is law. But so we are rebellious people. Them give away a few. When them say ten commandments, it can wind down to just one or even three. You understand? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Do no harm out there. And when you find you do arm or wrong, you, you know, you repay it, you know, until the people them say them satisfied. You rock down a man wall, you build up that proper and paint it up on these things. But our people rebel against even the very moral, discipline, ethical principles. That is, you know, Universal, that is common to all man. So when the matter about common law out of England, I man can look and say, Hold well, on. That's when Uno has said, Boy, Uno has God. I come up with Uno own thing. Now, if you choose to go outside of God's law, where God said according to what the Bible have written in it, then you're going to subject yourself to. This statutory mess. So when some foreign guru with them elite university education where them can articulate themselves eloquently and impress the whole world, I can tell us a Satan, a master these things. Satan now go come and tell you a lie directly. Satan now go mix in lie with truth. To subtly divert you from the part of truth. And have you move alongside the truth with the guise of truth as if it is true but far removed from it. This will go on in the earth. This is why we have to reach the point to say it's only one God out there, it's only one power. Just like how we as a people, as the original people here, when them say Indian, are only one Indian around here. Or the East Indian, where, where, where the British, the very same British people create the East Indians which are the Persians. Go check, don't take my word for it. What's your point of origin? This is why I say, American Indian in a Guyana will look like I. Know yourself. Know you are the West Indian. You are the American Indian. You are the American Indian. You are the Awak Indian. And the very same thing go fit all of the Caribbean so-called islands. We allow these foreign people to impose this African narrative with this African culture and all of these African mess. When we are the American and America has always been us, we just choose to be divided amongst ourselves. The mainland people quick to say, hey, those island people are not us. When, when you do the ancestral genealogy, you're going to discover the majority 
of the people of the West Indies have foundation on the mainland. And we can prove it. For here I am on the island and I have children that was born on that mainland. So I won't answer. And this kind of situation predate colonization. We as a people, usually, not all of us, but we have such a section of us will move freely across this earth until the Norman conquest and the colonization, until these foreign invaders choose to be land pirates. I'm saying 1671, Gabriel Martin was appointed the first postmaster general of Jamaica, making us the first English colony to have a post office. Martin established two offices, one in St. Diego de la Vega, present-day Spanish town, and one at the port of Passage Fort, once located at the mouth of the Raya Cobra in St. Catherine. So I said Passage Fort, where we have over here, so a powerful place. Now, Sir Anthony did a talk about this a couple of years ago. I said, yes, yeah, so the slave board and used to pull up and, you know, use them little, have some, some, some of these sellouts, but then get some trinkets. And these little sellouts carry them in a some smaller canoe to get on the inland and, you know. Get in our interior. And we have to choose to apply ourselves and know ourselves. Don't allow nobody to tell you that you are this or you are that. The moment you do that, then, you know, you're doomed. However, the joy of internal meal service was short-lived. Record shows at some point that at some point soon after, people became displeased with Martin's work and returned to the old habit of having sea captains carrying mail while authorities, while authorities, who are these authorities, tried to establish and organize internal and external service. Jamaican residents would send letters in duplicate and triplicate out of consideration for losses at sea due to storms and or captured by enemy ships or pirates. Jamaican residents. Uh, you people are talking about in a crowd for big Jamaican. That's why the more laugh at you know, literally. And laugh at us. And that's why when you look, you see a kind of foreigner spread out in the best location. When these foreign Man come from where I land and get the best set of women. And all them do is just use them as sacrifice. You understand? When the woman them come, them find the best of a man. And create the message nation and so them mingle up and breed up and create for them offspring and say, this is what Jamaica is and this is what Jamaica look like. And when you look on the picnic, the picnic have blue eye, tall stringy hair, and copper. Not even copper like, you know, that, 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 I don't want to say it, but it's a total different shade of the original people. And then them promote these things. So when people like I will have them kind of truth, yeah, just like I ancestors before I, where them wipe out. When we na, na, are no longer here for talk this way, what do you think that happen? So if you look for our populace now, it's just a handful of our children well prepared for move forward. Majority of our children are ill prepared. This is why I say the crime and criminality is so rampant. It's by design. It's by design, my people. The 18th century service expands. In 1705, one enterprising Mr. Drummer started a packet service that ensured the delivery of some 
1,500 private letters to England. 1705. Remember, you know, them come and create for all kinds of constructs for the people. Them they're on plantation and work sugar cane and work coffee ground and work all kinds of different things. Working. So them I get a little thing. They, they, them, them never, you know, and it, it was like the mainland. But man a man chain up on, in a chain gang and, you know, some redneck cracker. That could never happen here. That's why we had so much rebellion. Then they'd have to change the narrative. Them can't allow you to know who you truly is. This is why you see the crimes are rampant. Because our blood, are one different kind of blood. But what them do is spoil it. And spoil it. When we are talking about them, don't know who we are. Them know exactly who we are. Them know exactly who we are. They know exactly what we are capable of. And they know our power. And our power is the divine master of nature, the most high creator. They know that this is why them, you know, them distract us like this. They give us all different kind of songs to sing. I remember back in when me a little boy, no for the, the, the elder ones, them, me used to hear them chant, Israel and Israelite. And I could remember when my day I have a couple of elders so the mirror, Israelite, these ways. But remove from all of that, we want to become Rastafari and we want to heal one Ethiopian man. And said, him is God. And you want the whole world to follow you. This man not have no interest in following the world. You understand? This is why I said, we not have no interest in taking over no government. We just not have no interest in our demonic government. We not have no interest in our demonic foreign agency. We not have no interest in our demonic statutory regulations and rules. We not have no interest in our legal standard that we not call policies. It's only act to make all of our own legal process, you know? It has said, it's not even valid, it's legal. I'm saying, act create this. The West Indies act. They say, act that the act were these actors. And then you have some little bright foreign guys. Them just want to show off on YouTube and tell you how bright them is. You understand? But them now tell you, say, boy, it is enslavement. It is oppression. What kind of police are so you? Where this police come from for so you? How can I be traveling where I have freedom of movement as man in my private automobile? For my personal conveyance exclusively. How can that be any business of any corporate agents? You have to wait till me commit a crime. You can't suspect me for a crime when there is no criminality. This is the fraud. This is the crime. And it's a governmental crime. That's why I said the RECO Act with them institute, it applies to these people. This is why we not take no interest when a bunch of foreign people are show off themselves out there on YouTube talking a lot of trash. You're foreign to this location. So you will promote your foreign agenda, your foreign legal standard alternatively used as rules and regulation. It is not law. God never said. This is why I allow no foreign people remove ourselves from the Bible. I want to say the Bible said all different kind of things, but what God said, what God said, do not steal. 
You understand? Do not covet. And all our no devices, on the ancient foreign devices, like on a birth registration form, that birth certificate entity. Nothing wrong with it being an entity, you know. Because if it, it, it is in place, according to how the construct is, the problem is when you know, attach this thing adhesively to us as if you know, can regulate a true and living man as if it's your, we are your property. And these are the problems. You can only interface with your legal entity, the birth certificate, birth registration form, certification of vital record, piece of paper. That's all you can interface with. That's the surety, and it cannot speak. You understand? So when you talk about a debt and debt and lawsuit, what so who, with what with by which authority? This is what may I say. Sure, on have all of that craziness going on, but how can it apply to us? How can the, a British man with a British crown can set any rules and regulations? If them things that go for them, their people, and the people who subscribe to those things. This is what I say. So the problem with a lot of our people because we they are the base of all of these things and just a try to learn. We're running on all different kind of information. But what we're not doing is look upon the people and we are present the information. I'm a like to do that. And if I can't relate to you then I will scrutinize the information. You understand? Because uh, usually you people only bring information to benefit yourselves and your posterity. While the original people, the native, suffer. Yeah, you people come from wherever you people come from and you serve. And when you serve our place, and, and secure yourselves, then you are going to tell us to show, you know, to forget. You know, we should forget everything. We should forgive everything. And we should love everything. Yet it's the total opposite for you demonic bastard out there. It's the total opposite. The Bible can't apply to you people who reject the Bible. God, where they're in the Bible, cannot apply to you people who reject that power. This is why I say it's an individual thing. Don't think it's a group thing. You understand? Each man has to find the God within himself. Yeah, man. At the moment we are look to our next man, we're in a trouble. But the next man is just as fallible as all other man. So best a man improve himself. That's why I'm like the Buddhist chant and the Buddhist practice. All it, that is about is improving yourself. And by our very nature, we are connected to the most high creator. So we're not limit or restrict. Or point of view to just, you know, one set of information. We not do that. This is why we can look upon a plethora of information and a plethora of people. You have a next set of white man through them sheer religious con, 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 them sheer religious information, religious contents. They have a problem when you touch upon the Bible. Because them things of the Bible only belong to them. And them alone can interpret the Bible. And you should be this and you should be that. I must say this. It's going to be war. With a man like I for getting at heaven. Because I know a lot of people going to say enough going there. You know? And I going to make a ruckus. Yeah. 
And the most I can sit down for him show and I hear the rockers and say, I want go on. Yeah, I want to know what I say. Now, you want our I sovereign man, Nestorian king. I get problem about him when I come in at heaven. And me, I go shout and say, Moose, I, if like you and they put a wall in at heaven, just put me which part of the broom them there. Me, we just keep the place clean. But you can't tell me, sir, all kind of different kind of ones are around you. And all you can't get in. Mad? War, forget now, heaven. But we have our heaven right here. That are the subtlety in a people. Then destroy your mental capacity, your mental capability. And then use them imagery with the movie to destroy it. Because if you say you're Indian, a man look for you and say, No, sir, you're African. And you say, What? Because the movie said, Indian look like Persian. You get me? And the moment you look like me with dark complexion, you have to be African. That's what the movie said. It's called indoctrination. It's called programming. That's why there was a time when old time people, them no want a TV in them house and you can't watch TV when you go to church. Church people say no watch TV, no go to party, no go to all of these things change. They go to church now. You know, you know, you're not sure if they are one of them. You know, dance all day. Because more times to the people every night, when they see some of them ladies that broke out, it make you want to go to church. So it has to be an individual thing. That's why them say the man who is righteous, I can stay righteous still. Yeah, the man who is just, I can stay still. The man who is, you know, untidy, I can stay untidy. The man who is filthy, I can stay filthy. Man have to choose to adjust them attitude. Me and my lady attack and I should have said your attitude determine your altitude. And that's a fact. But you can't make some time because of your attitude, especially when you know you, you know you weren't trained or conditioned a certain way. You have to excuse my attitude sometimes. If you step on with two, we have a ball out and said, you step on with foot, you step on with two, you crush me. You're hurting us. We have to say it, we have to stay silent. When a regular like a policeman, we can't read and write. Because if him could, we wouldn't go into these things. If we can present a document say this is renunciation, if it's, you have to check. But just like how oh, these foreign colonial flunkies are. Them are going to tell us that they're only doing them job. All when them are break the law. And because them have them legality to support them. Them do them one thing here. So you people out there in the international world. Try to focus on phone thing. Yeah, because the games we wanna play with this beast system is just that. A game and we are say we're not interested. All we're not drag we in our filthiness, in our ungodliness. We still are say we do not consent. I'm still not here with. We are say what we now do is called silent deception and inducement by fraud, and the world still not here. That's what we are saying. We are demonstrated. If I man have my own recognizance for me, if I can put up one hundred thousand dollars, then when I suppose I can put up one million dollars, it's all imaginary, illusionary. However, you want to adhesively attach us to these things. How? When you have the surety right there. You have the legal entity right there. Who give you authority or jurisdiction over this living man? Which judge? Which court clerk? Which pastor? Which politician? This is where I said that these people are trying to replace God. Because we don't know God. 
to find yourself in a this kind of situation. Well, now me I say, boy, this is how me I make my stand. And this is why me have a problem. I say, you people are sad am I? Then I said, me have an attitude problem. Go look in the Bible if you never know, see them talk about Sadamite. You people are descendants of Lot. Yeah. So on a nature is Sadamatic. Just like how on a nature is psychotic. Whereas on the psychotic people look upon other people as property, as non existent, as a thing. Only psychotic people do that. This is why we can't tell it, say, boy, only it's demonic. It's just my people, I'm going to take a minute to catch up to it. But when you talk about jurisdiction, the postal authority, or what they might, you know, start with them jurisdiction. This is how them start. Because you see, from the 1600, them start. See, so it come down to 1705. And then it has show you, say, the mail would often find its way to an institution known as the Jamaica Coffee House in St. Michael's Alley, Cornwall, London. Everything I go back to foreign. Everything I go back to foreigners. I want to say, we'll subject ourselves to these rules and regulations when they apply to us. How? The person cannot express it like how we are pointed out as shown us that these people are foreign to us. These rules and regulations are not law. You understand? And this is why them reject the Bible and I remove the Bible because it, again it tell you who the enemy is. It tell you who the adversary is. It tell you who to stay away from. If the most I say have no other God before I, then I want to point for some man around here so I say a God. And them man that they die on the earth and look how the state of the earth still is. And now by that, you can't convince someone like that. Right? Evidence is clear out them man. So them are trick with and them are trick with for a very long time. Them trick with ancestors just like all them are trick with now. And them want trick we on into perpetuity. But I dare for rebut that. Yeah, man, we have to. <laughs> All right. Them says this coffee house was usually the first stop for the ship's captain upon arriving in London to deliver mail and give news to the West Indian. Merchants gathered there. Who them said them up? Give news to? So when you hear West Indies, people are associated with Indian. A we them are called the West Indian. A we are the Indian and now. Why them are called the West Indian? Because the British Empire, in order for you usurp our place, create an East Indies company, an East Indian company over there in Persia. Yeah, when I said Persia, I just say a Persia was a dominant power back in a them time there. When the when the, when according to the Bible. Archangel Michael had to go down to the war, you know? Because them I said the demon they turn up strong round there. So all of these things happen on their side over there. Spoil them, come over here and spoil it. But show my people not have this information until now. We are get it now. This is why I said these people laws, them rules, them regulation, whatever them are going with it now apply to a man such as I. And this is the enslavement. God them are tell me, sir, it apply and me. I say, how? Show me. Show me where you have jurisdiction over a true and living man. Show me where you can gain any kind of authority here. Show me. Are you brute force here, you use? You understand? That a constable will bring a witness statement. 
We say I'm supposed to assume you. Our counsel, our youth, you bring witness statement and assume it as you are. And tell me now, what am I crying? Where have I offended you? Where is the victim? This is what I talk about. But some other little people want to play this, 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 this legal process game. You write a paper and accuse me, I write a paper and, 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 and defend my, 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 my stance. So when you are bring a claim, me have a counter claim. However, it's because it's a whole system in play where the whole agency have a conflict of interest. Everybody have the same interest. This is how them capture you. Everybody have the same interest. When a policeman pull you on the road, you have to know so the wrecker. Where you say I come to you is owned by some other police. So it work, boy. Yeah. And if a man pull you up on the road and you have a thinking and game, then you are right for that day or two, three days till him buck you again, you have to keep giving him a thing. So it go about you. Yeah. And when you choose not to give you that give, give them nothing at all, them are gonna drag you. You know, through the legal process. Where you find some so called resident magistrate acting as parish court judges, where so they are learned in law. And then he asks, what law? Which law? How do your so-called law apply to me? How? Where is the so-called agreement? Them thing here, you know. But because I'm used to everybody being a clown. When you challenge them, them say, eh, lock him up. You can only interface with that juristic person or that legal person or that entity you want to create. And when we present a bird surface ticket, that, that should be it. Whatever debt should be satisfied. But our people here, them greedy. Them say them no want that. Them want blood. Now when the Mosai require full of blood, why you not complain? God, that's all you no want, you know. You no know, say money you no know, want, but no, you no know, want blood. So the individual thing out there, remember, you know, the Bible said Christ coming on the earth and them crucify Christ. Who did that? Who you think crucified Christ? Very same people then. Eh? Yeah. Only show that the demonic system was the hidden hand behind it. No different from now. When we come forward and say, yeah, we have them kind of freedom of movement yeah, and this is how it is even my very own people get envious covetous jealous and say oh am i going like him special your very own people i gotta do that so at no time we're gonna rely upon the mass amount of people for bring no kind of change guys never happened in a history when i say the mass but the whole kind of thing is, is when it's politically arranged or organized. Once it's politically organized, you know, so there is a hidden hand, the demonic hand is behind it. And one thing with the devil, you know, him always saying he can do it better. He always want to reconstruct things, rearrange things, change things. This is what we are experienced. Yeah, man. So them say after Drummer's death in 1713, regular mail service did not resume until 1745, although in 1711, the act establishing general post offices for all Her Majesty, 
Now them are gonna say His Majesty's domain was passed. So in a 1711, them passed this act to establish post office in all the main. This is how them create them federal area. This created post offices throughout the West Indies under the control of London's general post office, under the control of some foreign agency. Jamaica Post Office was re-established in 1720, but the planters had grown so accustomed to merchant sea captains carrying their mail that they greeted its arrival with a good measure of doubt. Watch this. Look again. The residents of Jamaica and the planters. So the residents of Jamaica and the planters should be synonymous. You understand? So when enough man I read history and I look on history one way, you know, I man probably view it a little bit different. I'm not going to put myself as me a planter or me a Jamaican resident I send letter in the 1660s to England. And the colonizers, them I do that, man. You get me? If I we had do it, we would not send 1,500 1, mil. We would have sent over a million ton of mil. You know, so we go on. Shut down the remittance where Western Union and nobody can get money and see if this country can explode. Just, just do that. We as a people have to recognize that we are being oppressed. Our slavery is still extant, people. This is why them are tell you, sir, you know, have no right for up. No, not even a knife. Police are pulling me over, ask me for knife. And if a madman attack me and me, don't have something in my hand for, for make sure, sir, this madman realize, sir, hey, don't try that. Then, you know what I mean? Me have just be susceptible to anything out there. Who is you for you talk to people like this? This is why I'm the sort of place I got out here up. If a man have break the law out there, you deal with him accordingly. A simple thing, that. But you can't just set everybody a criminal and treat everybody accordingly. That's where the problem is going to arise. Where everybody is truly not criminal. But when you criminalize everybody, then what do you think is going to happen? People have said then we don't have no other choice. There is no other choice. And so on us said anytime one's engaged in a commerce, again, it represents crime. That me I tell you that's why we don't have no interest in our commerce, because we can function outside of your commerce. This is why me have a non interest bearing account. Anything we may have to do, it has to be non-interest bearing. I don't want a third party foreign inter... I don't have no interest in it. When we do need to do anything we don't know, then we can create some kind of contract. Like, I come look some work, I'm going to sign up a contract, I'm going to come sweep up here, or I'm going to come, you know, fix up there or whatever. But when we do not have any kind of contract, F off. It's as simple as that. You're not God. And that we outside of law, far removed from it. And we are bring forward the facts uh, on a legal standard. The very legal standard. The agency. This agency that was created by some people in our parliament run at some foreign location. This agency developed legal standard alternatively used as rules and regulation to govern its subject 
So when I am not a subject to phone up thing, you know, I said, where? It's as simple as that. You know, courts don't want to apply. None of it apply. And this is the truth of the earth. So now for you know, go rule we foreign to this location and teach some of our people on you know, foreign strategies. I yeah, say so it's fine and okay, but it not apply to everybody. We not necessarily want to learn all of those fuckery. We don't. We are say we are free people. We are say we are people of the most high and the most high law apply to us. So doing a little secular mess on about there do not apply. That we are saying you know, this is our reason, isn't it? If I man I do something wrong or I break some laws, then we can deal with that. Outside of that, you have to leave people alone. Get away from us. We rebuke your demonic forces out there. But I'm not outside the law and avoid the truth. So when I say planters, and I feel no one say, and are we? The foreigners them were invadable location. This is why you can look on Jamaica. I see some people them have some complexion where you have to ask yourself for Jamaica and them people yeah? These people are Jamaican and some of them so old and they are long time. Them people yeah, though, some of them is like over here about leeching where them man of them walk on road if you got Right round the corner and fly in a helicopter. The man in a drive car room. You have the elite boy, yeah, this is how they live. But we now gonna know this thing, cause it's a whole different world. This is why the, the, the common people clueless about the Jamaica constitution where everybody wants change. However, we talk about the Bill of Rights, the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom. All the people have not, not listened to us, the, the title. Contract of Fundamental Rights and Freedom, meaning so them people are supposed to observe your inherent dignity as man and your human rights for them about the internationally. But them are chose to go against it. God, them say, we do not know it. And then we as a people, we may get offended when we challenge this very foreign agency where oppress us as a people. It's on good earth. The one them we sell out, we're in bed with the foreign agency, and them alone are going to always suppress us as a people. Uh, them said, when them suppress us as a people, them remain on top. This is their point of view. This is why we on the island here is uneducated when it comes on to finance. We're not educated when it comes on to finance. This is why them can have a little company called SSL. Please be fraud. Our people, and then them are going to tell us uh, the very taxpayer supposed to pay. This is why I'm a, I'm a pro, I rebel against on foreign taxes. How can we be paying taxes when you have a legal entity that is there as surety, as a sophisticated financial instrument to secure all debt? Then we will not talk about taxes, where it comes from. Very same people are pay taxes were put police on the road for secure good people or for secure all people. But you have some rogue police where the very tax paying money are paid, where them are oppressed the people, them are brutalized the people with the very tax paying money. Them are use the very same tax paying money whereby the gunshot to kill the people. 
and your tax paying money and do that. So you yeah, finance your own demise, my people. You're financing your own genocide. This is why I'm saying to move away from the criminality. When you're a lawbreaker out there and you're engaged in a crime and Babylon has to deal with you, that is fine. We not have no problem with that. Uh, if you want to choose to go outside the law, there have to be some repercussions for your conduct that is unlawful out there. So it go. It's just like when we as a people go outside of the most high creator's law, then we as a people are going to suffer. Our society are going to suffer. Our environment are going to suffer. So it go in but I always say our separation is orchestrated, is socially engineered by foreigners. I always say that, and I will always say that, because that is the truth. Remove the tourist industry and lock the port and see what happens on the island. Uh, when a man say my tourism can go anywhere in the world freely, but when you say you want to make a trip, the man tell you say you need visa. How is that? You need visa, then these tourists are get visa to travel. How much tourists are get visa from America for come to Jamaica? And why should Jamaica need visa for go America? When all of this location is America, it's because the foreigners invade with location and change with location. All of these borders are governed by foreign people. And I guarantee you, 98% of them point of origin is not in this hemisphere. But my people, I miss it. I don't get it. But it is interesting. Anyway, let me continue, because some will go on in the morning. During this century, blasted by the islands group due to sugar cultivation, Postmaster General Edmund Desmore, appointed in 1754, oversaw the creation of some 34 post offices throughout the island in Spanish town. Bailey's Town, Old Harbor, Clarendon, Veer, Gashen, La Covia, Black River, Savannah, Lamar. We I like that. When we say Sav Savannah, we remember Savannah, Georgia, you know? And they have beat the 95. Salt Spring, Lucy, Buff Bay. I forgot. Visit Buff Bay. I want to see what Buff Bay is like. Port Antonio, St. Anne's Bay. Port Maria, among others. Head offices were located at Yalas, Morant Bay, and Martha Bray. Many of these remain active locations. So this is how the British people establish themselves. They may use a postal location to establish a federal jurisdiction. And this are from 1663. They might go on with it round here. Yeah, man. It's a history lesson for some. Yeah, man. The foreign people, them know the truth. Them know who we are. But them know, say, boy, if them to tell us, say, we are the true peers of this estate. Them have to leave a place. Or them have to, go, you know, show us the respect and dignity that is deserving of all, man. You can't tell us, say, we have attitude problem when we are totally, you know, violate our inherent dignity. Uno is out of order. Yeah, man. You agents out there are out of order. God, you think your agency represent God or God's construct? It don't. It's just an agency created by some British foreign people to benefit them and their posterity and enslave other people. 
So we're born on oppression, we're born on slavery. And we detest on a foreign construct. Burn them out there. One like Seboy. They're at a phone. They belong to the most high creator, the fullness gave us. The world and everything where they like belong to the most high creator, including Satan. Satan belong to the watch me now. All the dark force were out there to subject themselves to light. A light dispel darkness. Light dispel darkness. This is why the most high creator said, Burn them. Let there be light. There was light. And we can't remove the light from out of the earth. But light is the truth of this earth. It is the truth of the universe. So let there be light. And I will even go on to say, man out there, woman out there, let your light shine before all men so they can see your good work and glorify the most I create of nature. Give thanks and praise out there. Lightning, earthquake, and thunder. Slow the wicked. Like island water in our vein. Earthquake, lightning, and thunder. In a wicked brain in this judgment. Out there, free people. The brave may fall, but never yield. And we say, bull and brave. Burn them, run them, and shun them.